This is News Center 6, WRGB, Schenectady, Albany, and Troy. It's time to go hyper! Hyper and cheap. Always here. Never near. saying that everyone oh, cool. <laughs> all right as this extra special more for your money too for the price of one episode begins the fair emma c is going on and on about her upcoming long weekend getaway to the sun drenched shores of the sinfully exclusive club bread Ooh, just think of it brit in a few hours, we'll be winging our way to the most exclusive hot spot in the Caribbean. Four all-inclusive days of sun, fun, and boys. Cute, scantily clad boys in swimsuits. Good Gouda! I know that scream. Why, it's Emma and her friends wearing towels. Towels? Really? Then, uh, then we must go to them. Come on, spank this cow! Those girls need us! Radio, Chappy! It's time to go hyper! Superman is here, ever near. Boy, it's steamy in here. Emma! Thank goodness we got here in time. And to think we were almost too late. Hyperman, what are you doing here in the girls' locker room? Well, basically, I heard the scream, made the scene, kicked the door in, and, you know, it's my job. The girls' locker room! Really? Hey! <laughs> Well, uh, now that you mention it, <laughs> you girls uh, do look a tad steamed. <laughs> Later. Ventro has yet to put his evil scheme of the day into play today. You guys, it's a long weekend. Did you ever stop to think that maybe Entro is taking a few days off? No, I can't say we ever have. But uh, hey, we'll try anything once. Hmm, Entrobe taking a day off. And as our hyperheroes laboriously ponder the possibilities, Entrobe was preparing to do just that, starting off with a refreshing dip in Old Man Ocean. Ah, life is good, Chaos. I've got a brand new car, a prime beach for the state, and crystal clear ocean to battle my pity dead. <laughs> Blowing my lunch. I'm way ahead of you, Enzo. How can you, a needle in of such refined dissipation, cast your body into something so clean and pollution free? Don't answer, because in a few minutes the point will be made. Mute. For even as we speak, my oil drilling device, this device here, will strike oil. And when it does, it'll gush up with its big tube and straight into the water. You see the tube, do you? Huh? The tube? <laughs> We're soiling the ocean, polluting the planet. Oh my, looks like I uh, splashed a little crude on you there. Yes, I do. No, not to worry, N12. I think I have a wet nap. <laughs> Endeavoring to undo his undoing, Kid Chaos searched blindly through his beach bag for a moist towelette. And being a disaster-prone lad, he inadvertently ignited the crude... Devil poo. Ah! Causing an explosion.
explosion of such magnitude that it reminded Kid Chaos that he left the gas going in the castle kitchen. Hey, he's right. Single-handedly destroying all that Entrobe had worked and slaved for in one fell swoop. That's the first new caddy. Including his new caddy. Uh oh that'll never just bust right out. Chaos, you're fired, outcast, banished from my sight. I never want to see you again. But Entrope, you can't mean that. Think of what they've been through. I am thinking about it. You may as well have been working for the good guys for the amount of trouble you caused me. Now go. All right, if that's what you want. So long. My long friend. And so distraught, unemployed, and up way past his bedtime, Kid Chaos wanders along the rain-soaked streets with no place to go, a lost, pathetic figure of a kid, sleeping on park benches and taking a page out of Stud Puppy's book, eating garbage. While on the other side of the world, Hyperman and Emma are engaged in a parting of their own. Are you sure you won't come with us? Thanks, but no thanks, Emma. Sun, sand, and sloth is not for me. I'm here simply to see you on your way and bid you a fond Bon Jovi. Well, I just want you to know I wouldn't go if I didn't have to. Uh, yeah, as if. Well, it's sort of a, a business pleasure trip. I need to conduct some tests regarding the effect that tropical climates have on bacteria. Fascinating. And unless I'm totally mistaken, bacteria is the study of chronic back hair, yes? No! Wow! Guys, bacteria are microscopic organisms. There are countless bacteria in every part of your body. It's literally millions in one drop of saliva. But most forms of bacteria are beneficial to mankind. Without the fermentative capabilities of these busy microorganisms, we wouldn't have tasty treats like yogurt, pickles, sauerkraut, and bright colored cheese wedges tied up with string. These are a few of my favorite things. Researchers have even found that someday, bacteria may even be able to devour organic pollutants, like oil spills and such. Are you sure you won't come? I'm worried about you. You've never been on your own before. Would that I could, Em, but uh, I have this condition. You see, uh, I freckle badly in extreme sun. Not to mention his irrational fear of getting one of those club red currency beads stuck up his nose. No. <laughs> it's true. It really is true. Whoa, we'll be right back. You're looking for some fun? Then you can just look for the Nabisco thing. Because when you see the Nabisco thing on the outside, you know there's cool stuff on the inside. Like Chips Ahoy, delicious Chips Ahoy. Plus, tons more stuff. Like the chance to be one of a hundred kids to win an Acer, a Spire, computer with CD-ROM. Plus ten different games. Marked packs of Chips Ahoy have entry details for the Nabisco thing computer crate sweepstakes. For no purchase entry, you could write to this thing. Must be under 18. Nothing revs you up and keeps you going like the energy found in a good breakfast. Cereal, milk, juice, toast, and fruit. Want to play hard? Then don't skip out on a good breakfast. Get into one. Brought to you by Kellogg. Bell presents Nacho and Dog. Dog, hey dog, I'm stinking. Ah, ah, Look out, Nacho. Ah, I'm coming, Nacho boy. Ah, ah, oh, 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 my fishing rod, my favorite book. Thanks. Now, when you buy a Taco Bell kids meal, you can get a toy featuring basketball great Shaquille O'Neal as Kazam. You can collect all four at Taco Bell. Great book, ah, ah, Taco Bell. Fetch that, that food. food. Dong. And now, back to the show. As Emma and friends enjoyed their tropical vacation, Hyperman waited back at home ready to do battle with evil. Or so he thought. But with Entrobe, the world's chief source of strife on hiatus, Hyperman soon found that there were no good deeds for a do-gooding good deed doer to do. That's right, folks. Today, nothing's going on. Absolutely nothing. 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 Nothing bad. Only good things. Uh-huh. Good stuff. Nothing bad. <laughs> There's just no good deed for a do good good deed do to do to, to do, man.
just then, there's a knock at the door. Aha! I have guests. I love saying that. Everyone, yes! KC, you chaotic kid. Get in here, you monkey. Oh. How's the boy? What's the news? How's it going? What brings you here? Hey, do you like Yahtzee? Banished. <coughs> no one to turn to. <coughs> Last legs. Good <coughs> gazpacho, man. Oh, you poor, misguided scrapper. Never fear! Hyperman is here! Ever near. <coughs> Having nothing else on the burner at the moment, Hyperman performs emergency mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. <coughs> then Hyperman states that even though they are sworn enemies, he cannot turn his back on someone in need of help. With the big guy on high as my witness, I shall never abandon a brother in need. Oh, my muffins. <laughs> Wrapped in a blanket and huddled over a steaming mug of hot virgin olive oil, Kid Chaos asks to join forces with the man of zeal, saying that he wants desperately to turn over a new leaf. Get out of here. You heard him. True to form, Hyperman agrees to take Kid Chaos under his wing. You mean it? Uh, what did he just say? Now drink up! There is much work to be done. Ooh, I hope Entrobe doesn't get wind of this. Meanwhile, Entrobe finds that doing dirty deeds is just not the same without his buddy. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. What'd I do without him? Everybody needs a little chaos now and then. Haunted by memories of his days on Earth with chaos, or maybe it was just the fumes, Entrope decides to leave the planet, but not before doing what he came here to do. I must destroy the Earth! Chaos would have wanted it that way. But how? Without chaos, how can I possibly destroy the planet? I need a means to the Earth's end. A helpless lackey to help carry it out! Excuse me, but I may be of some assistance. I'm Glenn, a new life form born of a bizarre chemical reaction between crude oil, salt water, and paint thinner. Hey! I didn't ask to hear your life story. Get on with it! Well, being a monster, I crave destruction. I'm self-motivated. My likes are polluting water and hurting others. And my dislikes are love and warmth. How oh, I don't like. It suddenly dawned on Entrobe that this oil slick monster could come in handy. For by immersing it in water much like a big tea bag, Entrobe could effectively soil each of the Earth's oceans to such an extent that life on the planet would cease to exist. My boy, you are my new poop-licking toady. Actually, I prefer the term assistant. Whatever. And so Entrobe and his new evil sidekick, Glenn, begin to plot their evil plans. Begin, you swim, Glim. Oh, my hyperfans. Can Entrobe be serious? Is he really going to systematically soil the seven seas? Or will Hyperman find out in time? When we last left Hyperman, he had just agreed to take Kid Chaos under his wing. Unfortunately, the extent of Chaos's propensity for wanton acts of nastiness is all-encompassing, requiring Hyperman to engage in an in-depth Kid Chaos desensitizing program designed to wean Chaos off of his evil ways via Hyperman's unique brand of tough love. A typical day would start off at dawn. Then, it's a brisk 40-mile hike with a full pack of shut-ins who don't get out much. And a full battery of tests, culminating in exposing the subject to the mother of all bad guy temptations. Jiggers! It's the Manor Police! Meanwhile, thanks to the super-efficiency of his new sidekick, Entrobe's Earth-fouling plan is coming along nicely. Now, if you'll turn to page four of my pollution prospectus, you'll see that we are currently ahead of schedule. Uh, yeah, I guess. Soon, the Earth will be unfit to sustain life. You should be very pleased, sir. Oh, and on a lighter note, I took the liberty of immortalizing you and that chaos boy on canvas. I can see he meant a lot to you. I hope you don't mind. Bless you. I don't deserve you. Oh, it was nothing. I'd give my life for you, sir. How's that? <laughs>
Oh, look, dolphin. Let's eat them. Then, on a tiny atoll in the very same hemisphere, our team travelers are having the time of their lives until they hear the news that the world is about to come to a slow, suffocated end. Covering six of the seven seas, the mysterious moving oil slick could spell the end of life as we know it. Uh, can we, like, turn this off? It is really bringing me down. Oh, my gosh! We gotta do something! Chill, will ya? Hyperman's minding the store. I bet he's all over this crisis. Oh, yeah? Oh. You're on a beach, feeling it super, with the cool ocean breeze oh. blowing on your face. Yeah. Beach. You're probably right. Now, these messages. Hi, it's Sybil Shepard. I heard you're bringing a new comedy to CBS. Yes, it's about an out-of-work actor. Forget it, Bill. I'm the out-of-work actor. Why don't you try playing a guy who's married to Felicia Rashad? I could do that. The magic is back in Cosby, CBS Mondays this fall. Welcome home. What's up, guys? Ryan owes our air cave one in there. With a hand. Then let me give you a hand. McNuggets are rescue! You McNuggets are brave. Oh, where's the airplane? Can I fly? Is there a movie? Ryan owes our dog! We're coming in. Roger. 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 How the amazing Brainiac eats a Reese's peanut butter cup. There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. How Charlie the Barber eats a Reese's peanut butter cup. First, I take a little off the top. <laughs> then, I take a little more. <laughs> There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. It's not big <laughs> or pretty, but it's the only foot that's a ball. A new Nick and Nerf football, only from Kool-Aid. You can get one free by mailing in an offer form with Kool-Aid points. See offer form for details. Nice and nice. Excuse me, may I have your attention, please? Yeah. I'd like to announce that I'll be destroying this island now, thank you. My client is very tired. After soaking up some of your local culture, he plans to pollute the seventh and final sea and then get on with our life. What did you say? I'm sorry? Uh, you said our life. Get on with our life. Did I? Yes. Of course I meant your life. I mean, after all, I'm just your assistant. Why should you think of me as being part of your life? Okay, Glenn. Chill. I'm sorry. I can't be more like Kid Chaos. Little Mr. Perfect. <laughs> That'll do, Glenn. I'm doing my best. Okay. Like, what just went on here? Well, I'm not sure about the end part, but Entro just announced he's gonna wipe out mankind by polluting our last ocean. Ha! Try another one. We can get by on tap water. Well, not really. You see, the oceans play a major role in the world's fragile ecosystem. Oceans play a critical role in the Earth's water cycle by evaporating into the air, then returning to Earth as life-giving rain. And coral reefs are the equivalent of the rainforest, yielding valuable resources like medicine and chemicals, not to mention a wide variety of fish, the primary source of food for many people. So you see, a world without oceans will be like a car without gas. Eventually it just dries up, sputters out, and dies. And if the Earth dies, well, you do the math. <laughs> Nuh-uh. Don't have to. I'm on vacation. Anyway, the bottom line is, 
Entorb's oil slick has to be stopped. Stud Puppy, blast the hyper signal. The party's over. And with that, Stud Puppy places an emergency call to Hyperman, a signal that he and only he knows. <laughs> and at that very moment, on the far side of the globe, Hyperman and Kid Chaos were engaged in a celebration of sorts. Congratulations, Chaos. You've graduated with flying colors. It is now my distinct and pleasing pleasure to welcome you into this, our Earth-friendly family. I now dub thee Hyper Child! What do you say, laddie? Gee, yeah, yeah. Speechless, huh? Boy, can I relate. I remember when I got my first assignment. It was a drizzly day, 1900 and... Ouch! What does it mean? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe there's a hospital nearby. <laughs> Responding to the call, Hyperman and Hyper Child were soon winging their way to Club Red. This is not a drill, I repeat, this is not a drill. Where at this very tense moment, Entrobe's oil slick is preparing to take the plunge, thereby soiling the seventh sea and forever sealing the planet's doom. Can no one stop them? Like, who does he think he is? Come on, Hyperman. Now, it could get a little rough out there, sir, what with the Navy and the National Guard being called out, but if we are to go down, at least we'll go down together. Just like them and Louise. Hey! Oh, you know what? I am such a ninny. I think I left my sunscreen in the room. You go on ahead. I'll catch up. Oh, no, you're staying with me. We're a team, you and I. Soon to be forever linked. In bed. Come on, Hyperman! And then, as if in response to Entrobe's pitiful plea, never fear! Hyperman is here! Never near. Hurry, Hyperman! Entrobe and his oil slick are this close to destroying our ecosystem and thereby our very existence! Mm -hmm. It is I, the kid formerly known as Chaos. Yes, our old nemesis turned good. No time to explain, though, now. Got a full afternoon. And like that, right? <laughs> it's time to go hyper! <laughs> Hyperman, oh, thank goodness. Quick, untidy the boat. Let's see that. Not so fast, Entrobe. Your world-wrecking days are over. Now, are you coming out quietly? Or do I have to slap you silly? Oh, I wish you hadn't said that. <laughs> oh, you really shouldn't talk to my friend that way. Well, it appears we're in for a little bit of a rumble. Turning into an electric ball of pure light. Not unlike one of those old-time disco DVDs, Hyperman circles the oil slick monster at great speed. A move designed to disorient and or confuse his quarry, while Emma and Stunt Puppy do whatever they can. Chaos! Oh, thank goodness you're here. Oh, I want you back. I want you back. My new assistant, the agent, is working out. Well, do you give? Say, or I'll put you out. I mean it, I promise. There I go. Oh, will you stop? Hyperman, there's no way to stop him. Central, look. Look at me. They can't harm us. Well, what do you say? Gee, I don't know, Entrope. I got this new job, see? And my boss, he's a great and intelligent man. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. But just look at my new suit. Say, do you still have your homework with you, Em? Maybe those little bacteria fellas can, you know, remove this unsightly stain. Hey, that's it! Give me your PDA. Then, utilizing that incredible alien advancement known as the Personal Data Assistant, Emma hypersensitizes her homework and unleashes the bulked up bacterium at the deadly spawn of the Earth. It's working! Stand back, everyone! Swallowing the bacteria without even so much as a thank you, Glenn returns to the task at hand, unaware that the alien bacteria were about to greatly compromise his molecular structure. Hey. And before he could say, I don't feel so good. The once towering oil slick monster was reduced to the size of a harmless kitten. I did it for you, Entro. All for you. Boy, and I thought I had baggage. 
Well, if you won't be needing me, sir, I guess I'll be running along now. Goodbye, Glenn. Nice going, Hyperman. No, don't thank just me, Emma. It was, as they say, a team effort. Right, Hyperchild? Right, Hyperman. Um, what are you gonna do with him? Oh, we'll take good care of him. Eventually, we're, you know, we'll dart him and release him and, you know, give him back to the wild where he'll go on to live a full, productive life as a small kid. <laughs> I don't know that I'll ever be able to go on without my faithful sidekick. Aha! Uh -huh. Then, in a grand gesture normally attributed only to noblemen, kings, and a few CEOs, Hyperman gave Entrobe his freedom, releasing him into the custody of that kid formerly known as Hyperchild. Really? You mean it? What did he just say? Oh, thank you, Hyperman. I'll never forget this. Let's go home. Dad. Then, cradling his emotionally drained boss in his arms, Kid Chaos struggles off home, oh. promising to never leave uh. Entrobe's side. Oh. That was a nice thing you did there. Oh. Oil's well that ends well, I always say. <laughs> oh, man, I wanted to say that. Who invited her? And so, after cleaning up the world's oceans with what was left of their super alien bacteria, the world was once again a less toxic place to live, thanks to Hyperman! Who, coincidentally, had his quarterly review scheduled for that very same day. It didn't go too well. <sighs> no kids, until next time, stay sharp, stay smart, and get hyper! We'll be right back. Big news. Now you get two more Kellogg's Pop-Tarts in every box. What? That's right. Two extra Pop-Tarts. The one with real yummy fruit inside. And who has to warm them up? Me! Now eight for the price of six. Sure, encourage the people. What are you doing to me? You want me to blow a coil? Kellogg's Pop-Tarts, a delicious part of this complete breakfast. Now even cooler, because you get eight. No, they're cool, because they're hot. Not because you get eight. Arnold's birdie isn't feeling well. What should we do? Well, why don't you make her a Happy Meal, Grimace? Uh, okay. So, how's Bertie feeling now? Oh, much better. I need her a Happy Meal like you said, Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> My new friend from Japan is coming. I can't wait for you to meet her. Now you can meet new friends with McDonald's Barbie Hot Wheels Happy Meal. Five Barbie miniatures from around the world. One with each Happy Meal you buy. Take care. Barbie meet Barbie. You two have so much in common. Hey kids, tune in tomorrow morning at 6 for Disney's all-new Sing Me a Story, followed at 6.30 by Bill Nye, the science guy, here on New Center 6. his eye on nutrition. He loves his choice frosting. We're talking serious. Oh, great. Wait. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheat Cereal is an excellent part of this complete breakfast. Why can't more kids be like him? <laughs> Eric Hennigan, he's got the stuff. The stuff of heroes. The stuff he ordered from Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. Cool Grand Hill stuff from $1 to eight ninety five. dollars You could get your own stuff. She's an angel with some altitude. We're not fairies. We don't grant wishes. But she can still have fun. Get touched by an angel after Dr. Quinn on CBS tonight. On the next Sweet Valley High, can you imagine what happens when my sister Jessica goes to work? Gosh, wouldn't it be great if I could just make money using my incredible people skills? Especially when she tries to help business at the Moon Beach. Where do you see my next promotion? This place will be packed. Does she have what it takes to fill the seats? Empty's not what we were going for, right? We have to keep going. Or will she be strictly out of business? On the next Sweet Valley High. Today at 11 here on News Center 6.
Firebirds playoff coverage live tonight on New Center 6.